detectives and welcome to a very special day and a very special video. Today is of course the 4th of October which means that it is the official publication date in the UK and Ireland for Daisy and Hazel's seventh murder mystery, Death in the Spotlight. It feels like this day has been a long time coming. I can hardly believe that it is here at last but it is and for readers in the UK and Ireland the wait is finally over. Now, for readers in Australia and New Zealand, you are not far behind. Your publication date is the 15th of October, so you don't have long to wait. And I know that lots of my publishers across the world are planning on releasing Death in the Spotlight in their own languages at some point, hopefully soon. So check with publishers in your countries to find out when and if Death in the Spotlight will be coming to you. Um, and do ask me, I'll let you know if and when I can. Now, to celebrate the release of Death in the Spotlight, I'm going to read to you from it. This is one of my favourite extracts of the book and also a really important moment in the plot. So in Death in the Spotlight, Daisy and Hazel have joined the Rue Theatre Company in London to be part of a new production of Romeo and Juliet. But they soon realise that all is not well at the Rue and all of the problems seem to be centred on a particular part of the Rue, the very lowest part, the sub-basement, where there is a well. And in this scene, Daisy and Hazel are going down to investigate this well because they think that a crime may be about to take place in or around it. We had come out into the low, dark under corridors of the room, stuffy and hot as I breathed in. Around us were the enormous hulking shapes of the theatre's boilers and generators, spider webbed and casting jumpy shadows behind shadows as we turned the pocket torches we always carry on them. I reached out and seized Daisy's hand. It's all right, Hazel, she murmured. You know perfectly well that I shall kill anyone who tries to hurt either of us. I felt comforted. At last, we came to the dark doorway that led down to the well room. We had to turn one by one and climb down a short ladder into the room itself. The rusting iron of it scratched my hands and left them stinging. And as I climbed, I could feel the quiet space of the room at my back. It seemed to be waiting for me. When we were both down, Daisy and I turned and played our torches around the crumbling stone walls of the room. There was nothing on them but a few unlit candles and sconces. Everything smelled of damp and the walls breathed cold. I shuddered. On the floor we saw a few smudged footprints and discarded cigarette butts that showed that people had been here, but we could not tell who. And there was the covered well itself sitting in the middle of the room, dark and low down, like something crouching. Of course, Daisy went scampering up to the very lip of the well and pushed aside its wooden cover to peer down. She leant out over it and I had to bite my tongue to stop myself calling out to her to be careful. Nothing in here, said Daisy, her voice booming out hollowly, apart from, oh, look, some cigarette butts floating in the water. Come away, I said at last, because she was leaning further and further down. I don't want to have to get you out. It would be terribly difficult, agreed Daisy, mercifully leaning back again and sitting down on the chilly stone floor. In fact, I think that if I did fall in, you would be unlikely to get me out alive again. It's very narrow. I should be stuck. Daisy, I cried. Stand up and let's go. I don't want to be here any longer. There is nothing to see. Suit yourself, said Daisy, rolling her eyes. I like it here. It really would make the perfect place to commit a murder, wouldn't it? No, I said. I hope we never come back here again. But, as it turned out, Daisy was quite right. And we did come back just a few days later and to find out why they came back and what they found when they did, you will have to read Death in the Spotlight. It is a book that I am particularly proud of. I love this plot. I love the things that Daisy and Hazel are dealing with in this book. They're very important to me. I always have a subplot about their friendship and about things they're, they're struggling with and thinking about. And this book is really all about Daisy and Daisy discovering romance for the first time, which is something that Hazel's been thinking about for a long time. But this is the first book that we really get to see Daisy thinking about it as well. And I'm quite proud of that. So I really do hope you enjoy this story. If you do, please tell me about it. And please remember when you are reading this book to have a bun break with it at the same time. Happy, happy publication day to death in the spotlight. And I'll be back here soon.